This video will take us through how to search and start or register for courses in the North Carolina Educator Effectiveness System NESIS, one of our home-based products. Once you're logged into NESIS, navigate to the Professional Development tab. The main search area is your course search channel. From here, you can type in any type of search, hover over the letter I to see what you can search by. Course numbers, course titles, course descriptions, section number, section title, section notes, and instructor name. Two other areas to search by are your advanced search and show all. Advanced search will take you and let you put in some additional information to narrow your search. Maybe you want to find a course that's been created by NCDPI's Blue Canvas. These courses are free for users to take. So let's click search. The courses will show up down below. Let's look at that one last area under Professional Development, Course Search, Show All. Now you have a list of all the courses that are listed in NESIS and are public and free for you to take. You can sort your list over here. You can refine your list on this side of the screen under Refine By. Maybe I want to find an instructor-led course or a self-paced course. Self-paced courses you start, instructor-led courses you register for. Let's look at starting a self-paced course. I have my list of results and I scroll through and decide that maybe I want to take this one. I click on the title. Here again, I can read, I can look at my course details, and over here on the right is a start button. This course was created in Moodle by our NCVPS team. There are several courses out here by NCVPS that are free to users to take. When I have a Moodle course, I can just click the start button and it will jump me out to the Moodle course. It may take a minute or so to load. And there it is. Now I can start my course. Now let's look at registering for an instructor-led course. My results have been narrowed down to instructor-led courses. As you scroll through, notice that instructor-led courses have sections to register for. Watch the dates. If the date is passed, the section will be closed and you will not be able to register for it. This section is open. Let's register for this section. I could click on the title and view more information, but here is a register button right on this screen. When I'm registering for the course, it gives me a progress. So here I want to confirm my course selection and I'll click Next. And now it says, Congratulations, I have registered for my course. I can return to my course list or return to the course search page. Let's look at a couple tips. So in your course search, when I'm on a page that has a list of courses for me to choose, I have a pin icon. The pin lets me pin the course and later I can decide whether to take it. So pinning saves my course but does not start it. I can later decide if I want to start it. Also on your professional development tab are other areas to search by. You can search for courses aligned to standards to help you meet your PDP goals. Just expand the area of the goal you want to meet and look for what is available. 
Next is your focus area align courses. As course creators tag their courses, they may have tagged it to digital literacy, health education, math, other areas. Now the course creator must have tagged it for a course to show up. And down below, we try to post professional development news. We've learned how to search for a course and start it or register for it. Now, how would I manage that course once I've started it? We have been under the professional development tab. Now let's go to my courses. Once you've started and registered for a course, it will show up on this page in the my courses container. Here you're going to see a list of your learning opportunity or courses that you have registered for. The purple circle means it's in progress. The green check mark when you complete a course shows that it is completed. This will go away after about a month and the course will come off your list, but it will be recorded on your transcript. The other icon to take note of is if you need to withdraw from a course, here is your withdraw button. It's a picture of a door with an out arrow. This means you want to withdraw from the course. Down below is how do I find this completed course? Because now I want to print out my certificate. So I need to tra navigate to my transcript. On the my transcript page, I can narrow my search by dates from the date from to a date to. For instance, if you are in your renewal year, you can put the number of years in here that you want to show up on the transcript below. The transcript below is only going to show you the credits that have been entered through the NISA system. When I scroll down, I can see that I can print or email a PDF of my transcript. And here's where I can locate a list of everything I've taken and that has been completed. Over here on the right in the certificate column is a link that allows me to click and print out a certificate. And now I can download or save that to a PDF.